Hello and welcome back to Promise Circle where we discuss everything AI. In today's video, we'll be building a Slack ChatGPT app for your documents. All right, so let's jump in and see exactly how this works. So we have an expense policy document and we'll be asking some questions to the bot about the document. Now our first question is here is about alcohol reimbursement. Now according to the document, uh, that is not reimbursed. And as you can see, um, you would notice that the, the bot is also providing that response. Next, we'll ask about reimbursement of staff recognition expenses. And again, from the document, we're able to get the right response. This type of bot is going to be really, really useful for employees, customers, or partners who are able to get information they need through, through simple chat and can be really instrumental in increasing your productivity, preventing people from having to sit down and help people answer these questions directly. All right, so let's take a look at one more example before we jump straight into building this out. All right, so let's jump straight into our to-do list. First, we need to set up Slack. Uh, next, we need to do uh, our data loader. So essentially taking our PDF file and loading it into the format that is going to be acceptable. We need to create a function that retrieves the information. And then we're going to set up a way to respond uh, in Slack. All right. So first off, we're going to be starting by creating a Slack app. So go to HTTPS api.slack.com slash apps and go ahead and create a new app. Give your app a name. In our case, we're going to be calling it Expense Policy App. Pick the workspace where you want your app installed and go ahead and click on Create App. Now we're going to be providing our app with a few scopes. Uh, our app just simply needs a chat write scope, which allows us to generate a bot token. So here we're going to select chat write as our scope and then just going to go ahead and install the app into the workspace that would allow us to generate our bot token which we're going to be using uh, in the app itself so be sure to copy that and keep it safe because you're going to be using it in the app itself next up we're going to go ahead and set up the app token so the app token is something else that we need so we go into the app level tokens want to add a connections right scope uh, for this particular token this this is going to help us use socket mode so again we give our token a name and once we're done with that we're going to go ahead and generate a token now once again copy this token and keep it somewhere safe because you're going to be using it uh, shortly now once we're done with that we have our app token we have our bot token all set up the next thing is to activate socket mode so get mode essentially this allows us to receive events uh, from our app uh, even if uh, we are behind a firewall so once you go into socket mode go ahead and enable it and now your app will be able to receive events all right so next up we're going to go ahead and configure events just to make sure that we are listening for specific events so we need to go ahead and enable events and then we want to subscribe to a few bot events um, because we're going to be listening for messages that are coming into a particular channel or through direct messaging we're going to give our uh, the scopes for uh, message.im as well as app mention so app mention is just whenever you mention the bot and then message.im is whenever you're sending it a direct message all right so once you're done making those changes Please go ahead and uh, reinstall the bot into your workspace and now our app should be ready to go. All right, so one very quick thing that we need to do, we need to go into App Home and make sure that our app is able to receive messages. So go under the messages tab and um, select that as well as allow to send slash commands and messages from the message tab. All right, so it's time to get to work. now. First things first, pause the video right now, open your terminal and perform the following commands. Create a directory, cd into that directory. Since we're using Python here, we want to make sure that we're using a virtual environment, so do the virtual environment setup. 
And finally, um, with all the tokens that were generated, please export them right into your environment for use. All right, so next up, we're gonna be installing three packages. First is a Slack Bolt package, which is allowing us to build our Slack app. The OpenAI package, because we're gonna be using OpenAI GPT. And then finally, we're gonna be installing Llama Index. Llama Index is an awesome library that makes it easy for you to connect your documents to GPT. So Llama Index is a library that provides a simple interface to connect your large language models with external data. Uh, they essentially provide functionality for data ingestion and retrieval regardless of the data format. This is very helpful when performing knowledge augmented GPT prompts. They have also included a hub for various data connectors which support different data sources. I will add the documentation in the description below. All right, so first we need to create a file in our directory called load underscore vector dot py. That file contains a function we would be needing. This function processes our documents and converts them into a vector store. Vector stores contain a representation of your text as floats. These floats are generated using the OpenAI embeddings model. Please keep that in mind that just like the text generation models, there's a cost also associated with this. So let's step through the function. First, we need to get our PDF data loader, which allows us to load the text from the PDF file. So here we're setting our loader variable to the PDF loader we got from the Llama hub. Next, we want to use the loader to extract the text from our PDF file. Then using the GPT simple index, uh, simple vector index, sorry, uh, we're able to pass the document, in this case, our expense policy PDF file that we loaded into one of its methods called from documents, which simply creates the embeddings or our number floats as I discussed earlier. Finally, we want to save those embeddings as we'll be using them for retrieval purposes moving forward. Now it's time to run our function to see how our embeddings look. All right, so to run our function, we go ahead and type Python 3 load underscore vector.py and this is going to go ahead and run our function. Once our function is completed, you would notice that a new file has been created. Uh, that file uh, in our case is called expense policy dash index and you can see the number of tokens that was also used for this operation, in this case 5000. Now here we see our index as floats as I mentioned earlier on and th this float has now been stored to our disk and this is what we're going to be retrieving information from uh, as we make our queries from our chatbot. All right, so let's step into our Slack bot and look at what the functions look like. So first we want to uh, import the relevant modules, our OS module, JSON, Slack Bolt, as well as the Llama index modules. We want to start by initializing the Slack app with the provided Slack bot token, which you exported earlier on. And then we want to load our vector store, um, basically that we saved to disk. So essentially using the GPT simple vector index, we can do a load from disk and pass the file name where we stored um, our vector store. Next up, we want to simply just test if it works. So we're just using um, a print statement and running the function index.query and this basically allows you to pass in your question and once you do that, it returns a response. So let's talk about our actual Slack app itself. Here we have an event listener that is listening for any message and we have a function that is essentially handling this event. We have our message and say uh, message basically contains the entire payload that is coming back when a message gets a message event gets triggered and the say just basically is a simple function that allows you to respond back to the message. So here 
we're extracting the text from the message and we're passing that text into our index.query function and then we're using the response as a way to send back a response back to the user. So one, we want to extract the message from the response and to do that, we want to convert that into string and return the response. And then we also want to return the source of this particular text. So when the question is asked, the message gets returned, but we want to know exactly where it is being sourced from. So to know that you have to use the dot get formatted sources and you can set whatever length you want. In this case, we're setting it to 100. Now, once we return all these uh, information, we can just simply pass our message and sources to our say function and that responds directly in Slack. Now we want to start the socket mode handler just to make sure our bot is started. And to do that, we are also supposed to pass our Slack app token in there as well. And that is it. That's all you really need to get started to build out the app. All right, so now we can go ahead and run our app. So we use Python 3 app.py and that will go ahead and run our query. So first it's gonna run that query that we had earlier run, which we're using to test stuff out. And you can see it returned a response saying the chief executive officer uh, is add approvers for contractor expenses. So now we also can see that our Bolt app is running, which means that we can now go test this out as well inside Slack. So we can test out our app right here. We can ask the question, you know, who's approving expenses related to contractors? And as you can see here, we can get a response. The chief executive is responsible for approving expenses. And you can see the source. Now, one thing about the source I would say is that it has this doc ID, and that's just simply because we didn't uh, label them properly. But once you label your documents properly, then it will have the right ID. But you can see it's referencing a particular section of the entire document. We can also ask another question. Can I use personal vehicles for company work? And again, it's going to go ahead and run through that and provide uh, the adequate response as well. So there you have it. That is exactly how to build a Slack bot using ChatGPT mod modules as well as Llama Index to connect that to documents. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, talk to you again. Cheers.